But I never get up here and say I'm the best musician or the best rapper all time. You know what I'm saying? That's like I would say more like Tupac is the best rapper all time. I'll tell you one thing in clothing. As soon as I get it, I'm going to be Tupac I heard oh. of this. In 2009, Kanye released his own shoe, Air Yeezys, becoming the first non-athlete to make a deal with Nike. Tell me a little bit about the creative process where you designed one of these. You could start with a sketch. Okay. Could start with a vintage reference. It could start with a previous shoe that we created that we're making a newer version on. You know, feelings of films and experiences that I grew up with. He would go on to design shoe wear for Louis Vuitton and Adidas. Uh, I've been saying I want to get rid of laces. And we still have shoes we sell with laces because it's a popular shoe and people love this shoe. Yay, shoes don't come cheap. A pair of Yeezy Boost 350 can cost over $300. A pair of his unconventional Yeezy foam runners can cost over $700. So Yeezy is the Lamborghini of shoes. <laughs> The rapper has seen his Yeezy fashion empire of shoe and streetwear surge in value over the years, making him a multi-billionaire. I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. I am Shakespeare in the flesh. Walt Disney, Nike, Google. In 2008, Oscar-winning actress Gwyneth Paltrow launched Goop, a wellness and lifestyle brand and company worth 250 million USDs. You know, you're a huge star. Why did you need to go goop it up? Um, well, I just had this like incredible curiosity always when I was off making movies in places and cooking and traveling and I was kind of aggregating information. So it really just started as a place to share information and I didn't, I didn't anticipate it becoming you know, as real of a business as it is. But what did you think it was going to be? I don't really know. Beginning with a weekly newsletter, the Goop Empire has expanded into e-commerce, collaborating with fashion brands, pop-up shops, wellness summits, a print magazine, a podcast, and a Netflix documentary series. We're here one time, one life. How can we really milk the shit out of this? <laughs> Famously, the company made headlines for some of their unconventional, sometimes dangerous products, including 50 to 100 Australian dollar vaginal jade eggs, a coffee enema device that could cost around $173 Australian, and body vibes, which are wearable stickers that were claimed to rebalance the energy frequency in our bodies, which could cost between 70 to 150 Australian dollars. And the best part of it is, I don't know if you see, but up in the corner it says, item is non-returnable. <laughs> Aviation American Gin slogan take two. Aviation American Gin. If you're drinking anything else, you're drinking Ryan Reynolds is one of Hollywood's most popular actors, but he is also one of their most successful investors. In 2018, Reynolds acquired a stake in Aviation American Gin. He oversaw the product's creative direction and took an active role in the business. It's back to school time, which this year has a whole new meaning. That's why today I'm introducing Aviation American Gin Homeschool edition. He also joined the board of tech company Match Group and purchased an ownership stake in Mint Mobile. It's hard to believe that Mint Mobile has gone so long without an unlimited plan. So to introduce it, we brought in an actor we've all gone too long without, Rick Moranis. So why am I here? I'm just it's a huge fan. Oh, stop it. Come on, no, stop it. Seriously, massive. In 2020, Reynolds made a deal with beverage company Diageo, which acquired Aviation American Gin in a deal valued at up to 610 million US dollars. Cut! Hey, uh, yeah. why is your Aviation Gin ad plain? I bought mid-roll ad placement. You bought an ad for your gin within an ad, for your movie within an ad for Samsung TV. Yes. It felt like the right thing to do. 